We're very pleased to have the meeting on hematologic malignancies being held in Chicago in September. People who are interested in an update in uh, the clinical advances in acute leukemia, I think, will uh, be very interested in this uh, meeting. There have been uh, great uh, progress made in an understanding of acute lymphoblastic leukemia within just the last few years, uh, derived from the progress in the Human Genome Project. So we're beginning to subdivide acute lymphoblastic leukemia both in children and adults. There's uh, a recent subset of uh, ALL that has been uh, described called uh, BCR-ABLE1-like ALL. Uh, these patients uh, appear to have a poor outcome when treated with conventional chemotherapy, but the important observation was made that many of these uh, cases uh, will have mutations in specific genes that can be targeted with currently available uh, drugs like such as tyrosine kinase inhibitors, drugs that have uh, already been shown to be effective in chronic myeloid leukemia as well as in Philadelphia chromosome positive acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So this is a subset of patients that uh, is uh, not very common in children but comes in increasingly common during the young adult and middle-aged adult years and may go a long way to explain why uh, middle-aged adults have not had as good an outcome overall as children with ALL.